Hello guys, welcome back to KTLB Fight Training, this is Hams. Uh, today we show you how to flatten this harness and put it on a drawing. So before that, I forget to mention you another important comment. So let's go to equipment and system, electrical harness discipline, uh, to wire routine, electrical wire routine workbench. So here we have this command here, the routine simulation. To use this command, just click on it click on any bundle of the, your harness and select the two connectors that you want to measure it's compute and this is the length between these two connectors this is very important because you will see when we flatten this harness I'm gonna close on it Let's go to electrical harness flattening and to flatten this harness we just click on the flatten command select the top of your product and just press OK now the harness is flattened and to play with this harness how you want to root and everything you have the manipulation toolbar as you can see here it, this, this command is to make a, a range action like umbrella like that if you have multiple brushable you can have this one this is very useful in aircraft and this one is to make a cross this one is to rotate, to bend, to roll quick roll, roll and this one is to strike again bundles because sometimes some bundles you don't want you, you cannot strike with this command, I don't know why and and another important command here that I use is this one here, the scale one because when you flatten sometimes the bundles make smaller like this one you can see here the design line is 256.544 millimeters and when we flatten it now it has a, a little less length and if you multiply this is small dimension for thousands, hundreds of bundles it's gonna get bigger and that's too bad for manufacturing because you can have problems when installing this harness because maybe the connectors gonna be short to the, to the not part so to fix this just click restore the sign length and now this bundle have the same length like that, you can check all the bundles sometimes happen, sometimes no and you can check it again with the other tool that we create and compare the lengths and before use the manipulator commands and it's gonna be a little hard to use these commands on this harness because it's very small we have one, two, three, four branchables here. So to use this command, they only work on the same multi branchable. So you want to make a row, for example, if you want to bend this like that, it's not possible. Well, maybe yes, here, but not here because this length is too short. So you need to be take care of that. And before I use that, I need to send my model to the drawing. So I'm gonna create a drawing. Press OK. On the views toolbar, if you don't have a hit check, maybe you have hide it. Remember, use drag the icons. Let's go to from view to your white harness and the way that I like to do it is select all the components here and when everything is selected just select a plane that you want to to use as a reference you can see it here on orange preview just click on it and automatically it's going to or drawing 
you can use this manipulator to rotate the harness to move it you can move it anywhere but after click outside the green circle the drawing is created now you can see this is a connector, this is the splice these gray lines here are, are the slips you can see here we have two slips here and all these are the bundles here and if you don't like the view just click on it and press the delete key on your keyboard and if you want to bring again all your your harness just click on it again select the reference plane click on it play again with the combinations click outside press ok and a good thing about this is when you make the way that I like to do it like this is because when you make changes here for example I want to make a row for this bundle the row works when you click on it is going is the place that the roll is going to start if you click around here it's going to make uh, try to make a row this is the, the center of the diameter for the roll so the roll is going to be like that so it's going to crash so if you click around here this is going to be the center of the roll so I'm going to try to make a roll like this so I'm going to click on it if you you can change how much roll do you want if you want 180 you just can press 180 click apply and now you can see here press ok now you have a roll you just click update to have the slip on the correct position so if you move to your drawing you click update your drawing is going to have now the roll so this is the beginning for this tutorial for the drawing and how to use these comments here so I'm gonna check why our connectors are looking like this I think there's a property when we we give the flattening parameters and I'm gonna check it on it and keep in touch guys I hope you enjoy it